Okay, so in this video, I will show some basic things we need to do inside the uh, Quest 3 to get it ready. First of all, I'm on the main menu here. If it ever disappears, I can press the uh, Meta or the Oculus button and it reappears. And one of the buttons here is to switch between immersive, which is um, for VR, and press it again for pass through, which is what we need for um, activating the cameras and uh, being in mixed reality. The next thing I'm going to do is because we are in developer mode, I'm going to go to the settings, settings, in settings, this is the menu that appears, I'm going to go to system, go to developer, and in developer, I'm going to make sure that physical space features are on, that basically all those are on. Uh, it also activates the boundary. That means that I will need probably to go again to uh, settings. In settings, I will go to physical space, and I will probably need to do two things. If I already set a boundary, Great, but if not, let's uh, you know uh, uh, pretend that we haven't. Going to create a new bound. No one means that I'm looking around the room. And scanning everything, looking around, especially the floor. The boundary is all about the floor. And then I will continue and confirm. And now I got a boundary because it will refuse to switch to a pass-through unless there's a boundary. The other thing that I will do, sometimes it asks you to set the floor level. I will do that. And I can see the floor level. And basically what I do is I touch the floor with my hands and my um controller then i will go to pass through make sure that pass through is on and then fit uh, space setup now space setup is where i set up my um set it to scan all the the geography of my room so i will press setup because i have to do this for every space that you're in and I'm going to pretend that I don't have one, so I'm going to click Start Over because I already have one. Rescan space. This is what you'll have to do the first time that you're in a room. And start scanning basically means that I will stand up and I'm basically just looking. And as I'm looking at the room, it starts building those meshes around the room. Now, I will look up. I will look down. I'm moving around so it uh, builds the entire... Um, geography of the room. The idea is that it builds what I see. So if I want to build it, I gotta look at it. So I'm gonna look at the ceiling. It might say that the scan is good to go, but I'm gonna continue because I haven't really scanned the whole room yet. I want to get every single object in my room to be part of the scan so my mixed reality would be aware of it. Now that it looks that I don't have any part of the room that I haven't scanned, actually behind that chair I haven't scanned. So again, I'm not doing anything, I'm just looking at it long enough, and it scans it. And once it looks like I've scanned the whole thing, then it's time to point my controller at continue. It'll also translate some of the walls that it sees into, like, you know, surfaces. It'll ask me if I want to add furniture. I usually say that I don't. We, you know, we can always do that later. Continue. And uh, it asks me to give this room, you know, a name. So let's say that this is my living room. I'm, gonna, I'm going to press done. Um, and then complete. Now my... My Quest 3 is in developer mode. It is being set to pass through. It has a boundary and it has a room scan, a space setup. 